it's Katie. I'm a wife, I'm a mom, and I work full time. I love makeup and skincare. I truly believe every single woman wants to look and feel her best. And I have the tools and the resources to help you get there. And today I'm gonna to be sharing with you one of the most wished for products from Amazon. It is the e.l.f. Monochromatic Multi Stick. This is the color Bronzed Cherry. I'm gonna show you how to use this product on the face, eyes, and lips. I'm gonna swatch it for you. So let's get started. So a little bit of backstory here. I recently was on Amazon's website. I was trying to get a product to clean the outside windows, right? And it said in order for me to get, cause I'm an Amazon Prime member, in order for me to get it delivered today, I needed to spend $25 and I was like at $21. So immediately what I love to do is go over to the Amazon best sellers section of the website and look at makeup products that you all are absolutely loving. The best selling products are pretty much the same that I did in my video back in February. So I'll post the link down in the description so you can go and check that out. But I essentially went on Amazon, looked at the top 10 best sellers, and I bought those products. So since I had those, I was like, let's look at what the most wished for products are. And one of them was this multi stick. Now, I've done a couple of videos, including the best selling dazzling peony product i did a video on that recently and showed you how to use it so this is going to be a very similar concept with the bronze cherry now with these products they're multi-use you can wear them on the face on the eyes and the lips it is a cream to powder finish and the packaging is so tiny and cute right so these are great to travel with and if you are somebody that likes to keep it simple sister then this is a great way to do that all right so let's get into how to use this product so I've already done my face makeup I have my eye primer on today I'm using my unique mood Shuck eye primer this is really great at helping pigments pop prevent them from creasing and help hold them in place all day long I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna just get into this you all so you can see this gorgeous color open up the packaging there okay so I'm gonna take this on the lips first it's a, a little bit on the dark side but it's really, really pretty. Like, look at that, gorgeous, love it. All right, now what I'm gonna do for the face is I'm gonna just take a little bit on the cheeks, tap, 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 just like that. Then I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna blend it up and away. You don't wanna drag the face down, you wanna lift everything up, all right? If you feel like you need a little bit more product, you could always go in and tap a little bit more but especially when you're trying out a product for the first time, I like to just go in with a little bit of product and then build more if I want more. All right, so let me go in now here on the other side. You can see it's blending really, really nicely, quite easily in with my foundation products. And again, I personally like to use a brush. You could always go in and you could use a blending bud or you could use your fingers but i'm a big brush person all right so there now you can really see what that pigment looks like on the cheeks let me get into the eye application of the product and i'll swatch this too so you can see what that product looks like all right really really pretty i'm gonna take my fluffy crease brush i'm gonna just take a little bit of that product I'm gonna dust this all over the eyelid. Now for me personally, based off of how dark this color is, I typically would not wear this type of product all over the eyelid. I would probably focus it in the outer corner in the crease, but I'm putting it on the eyelid so you can see what it looks like. The other thing, if you've watched my videos on cream multi-purpose products, I don't love them on the eyes if you have mature skin. I feel like they still crease even with eye primer. So a lot of times what I will do is I'll kind of set it and you can see I used a really light hand, right? So I could make the pigment darker and build that in the outer corner, right? So it's a very buildable product. Just wanna show you that as well. Like you don't have to go as dark as what I did on the lips. You don't have to have that same level of 
like dark pigment on the eyes unless you wanted to right but it's all in being able to control and build the product all right so i kind of blend that out what i like to do and you've seen me do this before is i like to go in with a little bit of my unique pressed shadow in the color dizzy now i'm going to pause for a second i'm going to take a picture of this monochromatic look so that way that can be kind of like the cover fo photo for this product as you watch the video but i'll be back and i'll show you that technique so be right back. now that i have the picture taken because <laughs> sometimes i'll like keep going and then i'm like oh i forgot to get a picture all right this is dizzy this is a really great translucent shimmer so if you ever have a pigment that's a little bit too dark this will help lighten it up and it also if you ever have a pigment that you want to kind of set you can use this as well i have found if i try to go in with any kind of foundation on the eyes it ends up creasing when you use an eyeshadow these products are designed specifically for the eyes you just get a better result all right so there you have it if you have any questions about this elf stick don't hesitate to ask if you like these types of videos where i share with you a single product give me a thumbs up let me know that in the comments below be sure to subscribe to my channel ring the bell so that way anytime i go live or i post a new video you're notified have a great day